Uh, so what about this? So university bosses at Leeds Trinity's School of Journalism. <laughs> this is unbelievable. These are journalist students, right? Uh, they banned lecturers from using capital letters when assigning work to the students out of fear it might upset them. Why? The staff at Leeds Trinity School of Journalism have been told to write in a helpful, warm tone, avoiding officious language and negative instructions. Some have blasted the move as more academic mollycoddling. You think? <laughs> oh, careful, that upset me there. Well, I sounded like, like it was all in I'd really like to apologise to any students who were offended by my raised tone there and slight element of negativity. Can you believe that? You can't use capital letters when assigning work to students in case they get upset. What yeah. are we doing in this country? The world... The world... <laughs> the world's gone nuts! If anybody's at Leeds Trinity's School of Journalism, could you let me know how you ever think you're going to be a journalist, a proper one, who has to go and do proper work? If you get a little upset by a bit of capital letter writing, what is the matter with you? Why aren't you all just rising up and saying, no, don't do this to us, this is nonsense? Don't treat us like snowflakes. I mean, seriously, what are these students doing? What are you doing? What kind of human being do you want to be? Don't write capital letters, it's going to upset me. What do you think the real world's like? Snakes. You know, let me tell you something. <laughs> they all think, they all think life's... Shouting. The, the, modern, the modern youth, the universities. I apologise. I'm sure I triggered you with my shouting. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Honestly, I triggered you. Uh, you think this is bad, students, right? Let me take you back to AD 536, which has been deemed the worst year in the history of planet Earth, right? Mm -hmm. This might just give you a little of that much needed P word, perspective. Oh. Okay, not that P word, Susanna. <laughs> All right, perspective. Do you know what For... P word I was thinking of? I've no idea. I'm assuming it was Piers. Right? <laughs> AD 536 uh, has been determined by uh, contemporary chroniclers, including John the Lydian. Cassiodorus and Procopius of Caesarea, uh, that it was the worst year ever because it referred to a mysterious cloud that appeared that year, obscuring the sun and moon for many months. It caused shortages, famine and drought across the Mediterranean and further afield. It was the Dark Ages. At a workshop at Harvard University this month, climate researchers revealed analysis of a Swiss glacier that the cloud was caused by volcanic eruption in Iceland. We've had Iceland, one of those recently, of course, right? Yeah. And so there was plague... Uh, and the economy stagnated for a century. Right, so you think this is bad? Mm, sounds like Brexit. Imagine living in <laughs> 536, right? It was far worse. There's always been a worse time to be alive. <laughs> well, Although, actually, they, I'm didn't not... have, they didn't have capital letters back then, though, did they? I actually so think that this might be the worst okay. time to be alive ever. The, the idea because that... of the outrage. We live in the age of outrage, that's the thing. Everyone's outraged by things all the time. Yeah, but, upset. That, but this is outrageous, isn't it? At. Yeah, but that's the thing, is that everyone, everyone is offended by everything, mm. right? Do you know who the worst offender is? Go on. You. No, I'm not. You are offended by everything. No, my offence... You offense... literally write a column no. every single day no, no, about no. how offended you no. are about everything. my offence is almost exclusively caused by others taking irrational offence. And then we I'm get offended by the over-offenders. Offence rabbit hole. We're all offended by each other being offended by things that we're offended I'm by. I'm offended when journalism students get triggered by fear and anxiety because their lecturer uses capital letters or uses on. officious language or negative instructions. Like, what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? It means don't say X, huh? Y and Z. It means... And do it, include... It means that thing you gave us yesterday, that piece of work, you entered your submission for it, it was terrible. OK? You get zero marks. That's called reality. It's not, that was terrible, so we're going to give you 100 out of 100 <laughs> and we're going to give you some chocolates. Hope you're OK and get through your day today. Um, and are you OK? Can we give you a hug? Make sure everything's all right this morning? It does seem a little ironic that it's the School of Journalism. Yes. I indeed. mean, seriously, if that is the journalism that we're now producing, I, I despair. You're going to need to man up.